we have O, the short form, and O. We have O as in pot that you use for cooking. Pot, O as in pot. Basically, the two uh, mouths are the same. The mouth positioning are the same. You can see the picture there. The mouth uh, wideness and um, closeness are the same. So we have O, pot, and watch, cough. Because, squatch, and knowledge, pot, watch, cough, because, squatch, and knowledge. Those are the examples on the short O. Short O. For long O, we have port, the seaport or airport. The picture we have there is seaport. Port. We have war. Or court, brawl, sword. Mind you, those letters I underlined are the letters carrying the sound uh, being pronounced. So, in war, for instance, it's not all the letters that are whole. It's only the A R that is whole there. So we have war, or court. Who you heard there? Caught, bro, and we move to the next one. All right, number five, we have ooh and ooh, ooh and ooh. Same thing for this one. The mouth positioning are the same. It's only the length that differentiate this one, uh, like the one we just looked at. Also, it's only the length that differentiate them. So we have ooh and ooh. So for the short one, we have pull. To draw something closer to yourself. Pull. You see the picture there. Pull. We have look. We have woof. We have wood. And wood. <laughs> wood as in um, a material you can use to make furniture. And wood, the auxiliary uh, verb. So look, woof, wood, and wood. Wood and wood. Sorry. Wood and wood. So for the long one, we have. Who, who, as in pool, pool, swimming pool. You can see the, uh, uh, the in the picture there, people playing uh, football or uh, something in the swimming pool there. So we have lose, flute, choose, soup, and feel. So all those ones are example. Lose, flute, choose, soup, feel. Right, for the last set now, we have they are both middle vowels. Uh, the mouth positioning also is the same thing, um, pronounced from the middle. They are not common sounds because we don't have them in our own languages, we have them in foreign languages. So, in English, we don't have them in uh, Nigerian languages. So, sometimes people find them difficult to pronounce, so people use other sounds to represent them, but they are simple. The first one that we have there is. Love, love. So the sound is pronounced as ah, ah, love, love, ah, love. Sun, tough, blood, dust. See that? Love, sun, tough, blood, dust. And we have the other one on the other side. We call it sure sand. You have heard that before, sure sand. In the picture there, we have meter, meter. We have about. Oblige, butter, possible, labor. I'll go over them again. Meter, about, oblige, butter, possible, and labor. Labor. <laughs> so you have a sure sound in all of those letters underlined there. So uh, these ones are not short and long counterparts actually. They are both middle vowels. That's the only thing that uh, the only thing that ties them together. Um, the previous chart, uh, the position of the tongue, I showed you earlier, um, where you have the sounds drawn on the kind of table representing our tongue positioning. And that are those two uh, can rewind your video back there. They are in the same uh, area. So we have love and meter representing these ones. Love meter. Uh, thank you.
all right please pause your video here pause your video do the exercises on the screen and send them to my whatsapp see you next class